Hey guys, Apple Lee here, back again with another video. This is an Android 7.0 update to the Samsung Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. It's now very similar to the UX on the Note 7 that was here before. So if you want to try it out for yourself, you can go into the Galaxy App Store, download the Galaxy Beta program, and once you've registered, this is what it will look like. There are limited spaces, um, and it's not available in every country, but if you go into the Galaxy App Store and see if it's there, you may be lucky. And then once it's done that, you can go into the settings, head into software update, and you'll see this. And we'll check back once it has updated and see how it looks with the new software. Okay, so we've just finished installing Android 7.0 onto the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. And as you can see on the lock screen, there still isn't much of a visual change. And once we log into the phone, again, it still looks very similar. But if we pull down the quick toggle settings, you'll see one of the biggest changes, and that is the blue and white theme, uh, along with multiple pages within the quick toggle settings. So if we head into one of the new settings, that is performance mode, you can now change the screen resolution to 1080p or 720p if you want to save some extra power, uh, but you can have it for different settings, so gaming, entertainment, and high performance. You'll also see, if we head back into the quick toggles, a new blue light filter, this is similar to Night Shift on iOS, and if we head into that, you can see here we now have it to come on at sunset and switch off at sunrise, and this should hopefully reduce the blue light and help you get to sleep better. And then you'll see the new multitasking, so if we head into something like the settings, you'll see here it's slightly different, redesigned, slightly cleaner look. And then if we head into another app here, Galaxy Apps, you can see it now takes on the look of Android 7.0 as opposed to 6.0 where it was skinned over the top to multitask and you still have the function of switching the apps around but you can't make the apps any smaller than a third of the uh, screen size so that's a shame but you can now back out of it and it will stay up here at the top so you can quickly head back into it so that's quite a nice new feature to Android 7.0 if you guys have any questions on it do comment down below if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up to let me know and I will be putting a video up of the performance difference from Android 6.0 to 7.0 on the Galaxy S7 Edge. So make sure you are subscribed down below for that future video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.